Now, let's hit the campaign trail. And with a housing deficit of over 2 million, the country requires 70,000 housing units to meet the demand. But inadequate regulation and high cost of houses built for sale has left one third of Ghanaians living in insanitary conditions. Now, government is, however, hoping to deal with it with the introduction of the Mortgage Financing Fund. At the start of his two day tour of the Greater Accra region, President Ikufuado commissioned a 204 housing unit financed by the Tema Development Corporation and a consortium of banks at a cost of 45 million CDs. He's been addressing the gathering at Tema Community 22. Fundamental human need, if not indeed a basic right. Traditionally, house ownership is a symbol of diligence and accords dignity and respect in society. As a result, everyone strives to own a house in their lifetime. This notwithstanding, our nation has not done enough to promote house ownership in an organized and equitable manner. The housing industry in general has seen slow development over the years. The land tenure system, lack of effective regulation and le legal framework have together worked against this very important sector of our economy. The evidence suggests that Ghanaians spend a considerable part of their income on rent, especially those living in regional capitals and urban cities. The cost of houses on the market exceeds the means of many ordinary workers who have no hope of ever owning their own homes during their working lifetime. The alternative for some will be to acquire lands in the outskirts of the city and use an average of seven to ten years to put up their own houses, having to deal with issues of multiple sales of those lands in addition to the many struggles and intimidation from land guards. Let's go on the phone lines and speak to presidential correspondent Elton John Brobe. So Elton, now what more can you tell us about where the president has been and what he's been saying? Right, so about the obviously the, the first part of call was the Tamara Community 22, where he commissioned the 204 housing units. And as far as ongoing plans, according to the president by government, to replicate this in the other region. And this they they, 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 they described as affordable houses for low-income earners. Mm -hmm. And the target in this category are public servants. Right. And the, the, the property consists of one bedroom apartment and two bedroom apartments. And even though they are looking at it as an ability, it will set you back between 170 and 240,000 Ghana to the 201. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the good news for those who have already far. Uh, some of these properties that Ghana Commissioner Bamu is one of the banks, but now in the development office to undertake this project. I've already had a written uh, the mortgage money involved, which means that it is not a rent to pay facility. Those who have applied and been given the property will pay the rent that the water was paid to any developer and then will pay back to Ghana Commissioner Bank. And then after some time, when uh, the, the amount of money involved is complete, then the property becomes uh, the bona fide uh, you know, property of the person living in this uh, building. For President Kufado, uh, he says that his government is looking at uh, doing similar projects in the country because they are looking at reducing the housing deficit, which currently is about 2 million, and they require 70,000, which is price on the high side. So they want to partner the private sector to do this and do it very well. Finance Minister says that if the NPP is elected in the next government, starting 2021, housing is one of the key priorities of the government. Meaning, it's one way we are looking at housing as a major economic activity that the government will undertake uh, beginning 2021 uh, across the country because they want to look at a position where um, a large majority of the populace who own their own home currently one third live in places they want to describe as insanity, where you have a large number of people uh, use large part of their income as rent. They describe this as unacceptable and something that they want to do away with. 
But currently, we have the CDR as a uh, form in the Manya Koba district of the Eastern region. And uh, President Kuba, a while ago, commissioned a form uh, which was written for years of the BRA. Okay. Now, the good news for this is that the government is looking at permanently dealing with the issue of power outages and unreliable power supply. Mm. So, when they're coming into force of this uh, retrofitted project, we are looking at 30 years of guaranteed reliable power okay. supply from the pump uh, dam. Also, the energy minister has announced that because of the excess power the country generates every month, they are now in a position to export 240 megawatts of power to neighboring countries. The government is also in the process of paying off debt incurred by the power producers as a result of, you know, uh, some power plants that were brought into the country by the elsewhere and administration, which have become idle.